Now you see, you support the students' development of the ability to solve a problem, make a responsible decision, and be aware of the importance of national heritage. Remember, language skills are work together. In other words, are integrated in the learning situation to develop the target life skills. Now, let's explore the materials, resources, or tools you are going to use to best teach your lesson. These could include textbooks, multimedia, or other materials. Look at this extract from the teacher's guide, which suggests you use student's book pages 8 and 9, audio files for teaching the lesson. However, you can use other ones, such as flashcards, magazines, tourist brochures of others for presenting key vocab based on your students' needs and the facilities you have. After that, you need to think of the opener or the warm-up techniques to use to engage students at the beginning of the lesson. You can use techniques like a question, a short story, or discussion. Apply KWL strategy to activate the students' prior knowledge and prepare them for the new content. For this lesson, as you can see in this extract from the teacher's guide on the screen, just after the lesson's objectives, it's suggested to use last lesson's next time exercise. Remember last episode, we suggested students do a next time exercise, which was in fact a brilliant idea from the teacher's guide, where they were asked to find an ancient Egyptian building and search for information about it, or find photos of it. Ask students to bring their findings and present to the class. Praise students for their research and finds, and have students ask and answer about this building using the past sample in order to review the previous lesson's language. For example, did you visit the Sphinx? Was it big? Did you enjoy it? And so on. Now, let's look at the exercises. The objective of exercise one is to prepare students for the lesson by presenting new vocab. Ask students to say what they can see in each photo. Model each of the words for the class to repeat. Read through the definitions with the class and check students' understanding of the vocabulary and the definitions. Get the students to match the words and pictures with the definitions in pairs or individually or in small groups based on your class context. For exercise two, students are to read a text about an ancient building to answer some WH questions, reading or scanning for details. At the same time, the exercise provides an introduction to one ancient building showing its importance and getting students to appreciate its value, an important value, appreciate national heritage. Encourage students to read the text and tell students to underline the keywords. This will help them find the answer quickly in the text. Get the students to check their answers to the questions in groups. Exercise three presents a model of the problem that ancient valuable building might face, providing a model for a problem which an old building has and how to solve this problem. Read through the problems and decide as a class which words in the choices are most important. After that, play the recording or scan the QR code for students to choose their answers. 
تقدر تتابع كل دروسك على تطبيق مدرستنا بلس مدرستنا المستقبل يبدأ الآن